The exhaust is in bad shape, very bad shape. Uh, right here where it got into the gas tank a little bit, there is just, holy crap, look at this. <laughs> Glad I brought that trash can over. Oh man, holy crap. The oil cooler mount got smashed a little bit. I thought that through. Trash, or recycling, I guess. Oh, man, it's like it, oh, finished on me. Ah, oh, just need to get it out of the way so I can lower the car back down. Yeah, that's trash. I mean, look at it. It's damaged here. It's completely smashed back here. Damaged here. Ripped here. Where's the spot that like, this spot's folded over. Like it's supposed to look like this and it like, what? Hello and welcome back to Speed Freak Garage, home of Power Sports on YouTube. So we are going to do a short, hopefully short series about designing a new rear skid plate for our 944 rally car. Um, so the current skid plate on it and frame I designed, fabricated, and installed in one day. <laughs> so. The main problem is that I had to use square two because the local hardware store is incompetent and didn't have any round tube. And everybody knows that one inch round tube is way stronger than one inch square tube. And in this case, I'm probably gonna go ahead and upgrade to one and a half inch round tube after all the damage. Um, so some of the other failure points were I didn't have time to get button head uh, bolts so the bolts got hit on rocks um, the exhaust wasn't protected well enough and I mean the exhaust is in bad shape very bad shape um, there's there's a lot of damage and unfortunately everything's riv nutted so a lot of these riv nuts are probably gonna fight me um, I mean there's there's just damage everywhere but the worst part is uh, right here where it got into the gas tank a little bit. I really hope there's no damage on the gas tank because that probably will not be repairable. Um, it's just, you know, I should not have chosen this car, honestly. But we got it, you know, put five, six years of work into it, so we need to keep on going. So we're gonna, got some pry bars. Got this, and we got this table to kind of keep it from falling down. So we're gonna kind of use this table to support it while we're working on it. Um, if it even is gonna come out at all. I mean, I guess I could take this out, but I really wanna get this plate off. Ooh. Uh, these are all honestly going to be trash, I think, which is super wasteful, but they're all pretty badly damaged. So this poor garage needs to be cleaned up. Let's see if... Oh, wow. There is just, holy crap. Look at this. <laughs> Glad I brought that trash can over. Wow. Yeah, that skid plate did not do its job. I'm gonna have to do a total redesign. Total redesign. Oh my God. Yeah, it allowed intrusions of rocks 
into very sensitive areas. It doesn't look like, oh man, holy crap. The, um, the oil cooler mount got smashed a little bit. Oh, that was a close call. That could have blown up a uh, irreplaceable transaxle. Whew, I better check the fluid levels in this thing. Wow. Yep. Back to back to square one, I guess, on the skid plate design. At least I know this design fits, so I can take the this design, which fits, and make a much stronger, much much stronger version. What a mess. Yeah, look at that. This got smashed. This whole piece got smashed up, which means I'm gonna have to find a way. Man, I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do because even if I use one and a half inch tube, it's still not gonna be strong enough to hold the weight of the car if it gets hit in the center. And you can't attach it to the transaxle and the gas tanks right here. So we're gonna have to like run a support from this steel back here, or, whew, man, I don't even know what to do. That's, that's gonna be a problem. Or we gonna have to put bump stops to keep the suspension from coming down so low, but I don't really think that's it. I think it's more of the terrain is just that aggressive. Man, it's a mess. Yeah, that looks like it's putting quite a bit of pressure on the gas tank. Shit. I need to get that down. Um, oh no, of course it's full of mud. I'm in trouble. Is that a rock jam? Oh my god. Whatever it is, it got... It got hit hard. What is, oh shit. I might not be able to. <clears throat> it like got impacted by something, something. Man, just imagine if I didn't have a skid plate, the gas tank would have been toast. That would have been dangerous. <clears throat> okay, can I get that shit out now? Sucks all that hard work. Man, it's all the way up in there. What is the deal? What? How did shit get that far up in there? I don't even understand that. Ah, right in my face. Okay. Whew. Poor garage. Okay. Um. It's literally crusted all the way to the, like how does, how does mud even get up in there like that? Okay, note to self, 3D print a rubber cap. <laughs> I'm just gonna have to like completely 100% redo the whole design. Because it's uh, obviously was not adequate.
this stuff's gonna have to get redone. What, this side too? No, it's just smashed. Great. I thought that through. Oh yeah, all those rib nuts, all the... Oh man, I just made a huge mess. Wow. I mean, this thing's so beat up, I won't even be able to use it to design a new one. I mean, it's... Phew, that was a hard hit. That was a hard hit. Trash, or recycling, I guess. Take it to the steel recycler. Not that it's worth anything. Okay, please tell me the gas tank is not damaged. Oh, man. We might have gotten lucky. I need to get a power washer under here, and then I can take this, I can actually take this strap off and take it down because the gas tank's bolted in, is the primary holder, is the bolts. Get this down, check the fuel pump, check the fuel lines and filter. I need to check this. This is probably, man, I hope that survived because they're not cheap and, whew, so I'm gonna have to find a way to protect this better, even though I thought I was protecting it, but I guess not. All right, so now we need to get the front undone. Here, I thought I was gonna stay relatively clean today. I have to go to button heads for all of these. Like some grade eight hardened. Whole fucking plate's ruined. It's like, what is that? Like $60 in steel, something like that. The prices keep going up, up and up and up. Wonder why. It's like it oh, finished on me. Ah, oh, oh, that's nasty. Okay, I'm gonna spank my head on that again. Really was not wanting to get that dirty because I need to do some more work on the engine to get the engine ready to pull. What a fucking mess. Just need to get it out of the way so I can lower the car back down. Yeah, that's trash. I mean, look at it. It's damaged here. It's completely smashed back here. Damaged here. Ripped here. Where's the spot that like, this spot's folded over, like it's supposed to look like this, and it like, I, don't, I assume these did a good job though, because look how straight it is where these little reinforcements were. Honestly, I wish I had a better way than just using these, because they're kind of heavy, but I think if we use thicker plate, like use aluminum thick, like in the front, which is expensive, but as long as we cut it correctly the first time, we'll have to find a different method than the stitch welding that didn't really work. 
because taking it to somebody to TIG weld a seam like that, no way am I going to pay that price. Now there is, uh-oh, there is oil, there is oil on this, which means that we could have potentially damaged our transaxle, unless it's engine oil that was blowing back. Cause like it, the, this is the spot right here where that transaxle piece got like touched or maybe this spot here. So the oil wouldn't go forward, right? So hopefully this is engine oil right here. Man, if that transaxle's even a drop low, that's gonna be expensive repair. Cause I'll have to replace that whole oil cooler circuit with a new one and they're not cheap. And people have figured, have figured out ways to add like a proper cooler, but that won't work with a skid plate. So I don't really have a choice but to use the... <sighs> wow, what a mess. What a mess. Anyway, I gotta get this just far enough out of the way to lower the car. So, I mean, that's, that's really all for tonight. I need to focus on the engine. All of this can be done another time and I need to clean all this up. So, yeah, I don't know. Looks like our gas tank's okay though, as far as I can tell without taking it apart. So. Thanks for watching guys. Uh, stay tuned for more engine pulling video and more, excuse me, and more, um, and more skid plate redesign video. Stay tuned.